Okay, so now that we have set up our website, um, we have a URL here, uh, commons.marymount.edu slash how portfolio, okay? We're in our dashboard. Um, I want to begin to walk you through how to set up um, your basic pages and what they ought to contain, okay? So for your web portfolio, for your portfolio of writing in this class, okay, which I hope you actually expand to include writing from other classes, um, not just this one, um, I would like you to include a few things, okay? The first thing I'd like you to include um, are pages rather than posts, okay? Just remember that. I do not want you to use posts. Instead, I want you to use pages. Okay, so I will walk you through how to um, set up the reading experience to make sure that that um, your users and potential viewers um, look at it correctly, right? But before we even get to that, um, I want you to set up some pages, okay? Your uh, empty blog, your empty website will come with a sample page, okay? We can keep that there for the time being. It's no big deal, okay? But I want you to add a few pages. First, I want you to add a welcome page. Now you can call this anything you want, okay? You can call it welcome, you can call it about me, okay? You can you can title it anything you want, but the goal is the same. It should be a welcome page that has information about you in it, okay? Welcome. This page should include a few paragraphs and an image, right? Because why not? About you. Tell your future readers who you are um, as a person, okay? And as a writer, okay? If you are setting up this page for uh, use as, say, a professional website, um, a portfolio online that you can send potential employers to, you want to think about audience, okay? Audience matters, okay? Um, so adjust your tone, your style of writing, um, choose an image, all of that material needs to be thoughtfully chosen and developed so that uh, it speaks to your chosen audience, okay? Um, do you want to use a very formal tone? Do you want to use an informal tone? Somewhere in between. Um, but this page is where you will write just a few paragraphs about you, okay? Um, you can put an image in here. Um, though remember you can put images elsewhere in the page in the website as well so um, you know it's not too much of a big deal if you don't um, put it here but I would like it you know you to have an image somewhere on your site um, I'll show you a few places where you might put that um, to add an image it's pretty obvious you click add media okay and you can figure that out okay um, a couple things to notice on this page creation uh, site, you can um, save a draft, okay? So you don't have to make it uh, public right away. You can save a draft. And if you're logged in, you will see the draft um, as it appears, as it would appear were it published, um, but, but other people will not see it. Uh, you can set a few attributes, okay? Um, this is where if you wanna create nested pages, um, you can uh, you can do that here, okay? Um, the parent page might be your welcome page and then sub pages, child pages might be, you know, um, your bio and your uh, personal statement and your resume or whatever. Um, I'll talk more about that later. I'm just gonna go ahead and publish this. I wanna add a few more uh, pages though. I'm going to add a page and I want you to add a page as well for your um, writing, okay? So this is where your portfolio proper will be, okay? Um, I want you to add just one paragraph about your writing. What have you written? What do you like writing? Why? Um, think of this as your sort of writer's statement. OK, 
Okay. Um, you know, who do you like to read? Who are your influences? Why is writing important to you? Okay, you can put whatever you want here, but I do want one paragraph about your writing or you as a writer. Okay, some of this material might be uh, similar to information that you put in your welcome or about page. Okay, um, but you have to have this sort of splash page. Okay, you can add an image here if you like. This is just a sort of overview page. I'm going to go ahead and publish that as well. Now I'm going to need a page for my science writing project. Okay. Uh, and my travel writing project. So here's my travel writing project. I'm going to use the title of my travel writing project for the page title. Okay, a day in the life. Okay, um, and this is a sample of my science writing. Sorry, my travel writing. Okay, this is my travel writing project. Now. What I would do here is I would copy and paste directly from my document here, okay? Now, if you want to have a bit of an introduction, okay, um, then you can add that here. You want to be sure that it's clear, it's clearly separated. The other thing you could do is incorporate some um, introduction to your projects, your writing projects in your, um, in your sort of writing overview page. Okay. This is also where you will add images okay, to illustrate. Okay. Um, so you're going to have one page that is your travel writing project, and you're just going to be copying and pasting it here. Okay. Okay, there are a few other things that you might want to notice. Um, you have the option of creating headings and subheadings. You can bold text like I did here. You can add quotes if you if your writing project has a quote, right? You can um, turn that into a quote. Okay. If you want to put a link, this is where you do it. Okay. You turn this text into a link. Okay. Um, you can put a read more tag, and there's a, a bit more information here in the toolbar if you want to toggle that on and off. So if you want to paste your text from a Word document, this is helpful. If you want to add any special characters, you can do that here. Um, you can add media and so on. Maybe I don't want this to be bolded, but I do want it to be heading to. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to publish this now. That's my uh, travel writing. Um, hello. Okay, uh, I'm going to add now a page for my science writing. Um, the secret lives of plants. So here's my travel writing, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Oh, sorry, my travel, my science writing. <laughs> okay, publish that. Okay. Now let's say I have other writings that I want to incorporate and they're in different categories. Maybe I have poetry that I want to share. Maybe I have um, some critical work that I want to share. Okay. The best way to do this is to add pages for each subcategory. Okay. So for instance, um, here is a page for poetry. And then this is just sort of think of it as a splash page. One of the things you can do is um, once you've added your pages for each poem, uh, you can put links to them here. Okay. okay. Those are some things you can do with those subpages, and I'll show you how to add those links in a sec. But let's say you also want to put your, your critical writing. Okay. Um, you might want to have um, splash intro on your, perhaps with links to each piece below, okay? You want to think about how a reader is going to navigate this, okay? And I'll show you what I mean when uh, we get to um, more complex kind of features. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and publish this, okay? So now if we take a look at all of your pages, 
You've got quite a bit of pages, okay? You've got a, quite a few pages. These are the two that are most important for us, okay? You've got your travel writing project and you've got your science writing project. You also have a page called My Writing in general, okay? Now, if you want to add subpages for the different kinds of writing that you have, okay? then you can do that as well. Um, this is creative nonfiction, so we are going to add a new page that says, okay, creative nonfiction. With links, okay? Um, now, you may or may not end up using all of these pages, okay? This is important to keep in mind. What I'm doing is setting up the basis of a structure, okay? I've gotta have content in order to have a structure, in order to begin to set up a structure, okay? Now, let's go take a look at what this looks like um, live. I'm gonna go and visit my site. Um, you know, nothing really has changed, okay? So I'm like, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? I don't know, I don't know where my stuff is, okay. This website, uh, this theme is set up as um, as a blog site, okay? So the home page is going to be your blog, okay? We don't want that for this, so we're gonna have to change it, all right? Um, and that is going to be the subject of my next video, okay? Uh, so right now we've just got a bunch of pages, okay? And remember that pages and posts are different. We're gonna be working with pages, okay? I've set up a welcome page, I've set up, uh, the, the sample page was already there. Um, I've set up a page for sort of uh, an overview page for my poetry, an overview page for my writing in general, an over overview page for critical writing and for creative nonfiction. Here are the two pages that I've created that actually house my travel writing project and my science writing project. But I haven't ordered any of this stuff. I haven't made it really available easily to my readers. Um, I've just created some basic structures. So for your um, portfolio, the ones that are required are your welcome page, your bio page, whatever you choose to call it, and a writing page overview, okay? And your travel writing and your science writing pieces. All the rest of these things are um, optional, uh, and it depends on how you may want to set up your, your website, okay? All right, so that's it for this video, um, and I will have another one prepared for you shortly.